Leave none standing. So here's commentary attempt number 115. And I think we're going to be talking about Destiny today. So, <laughs> let's get into it. Um, Destiny is one of the biggest games of 2014, biggest games of 2015, and this year I think it slumped off a bit just because of lack of, I guess, care from the devs most of the time. So in this video I'm going to go over my time with Destiny, uh, why I played it, why I loved it so much, why I stopped playing it, and what I think can improve. So, I played Destiny because it reminded me of Halo. Halo is one of my favorite games, and the ability to be able to play something like that on PlayStation, uh, it, was, it was awesome. It was so cool to think about that. And just play with friends. Go through a fire team, play with friends on a fire team, running through the solar system, finding out the story of the Traveler, seeing what's happening. It was just so awesome and mysterious to me. But in reality, Destiny really didn't have a story. It just kind of had vague grimoire cards with Agent of the Nine saying one mysterious thing every three weeks, and then you kind of go off of that. So, and then that was basically the story of Destiny. You couldn't, you could understand slightly, but I guess the, they just didn't really care about the main character, the Traveler. And that's my biggest problem with Destiny is its story or lack of storytelling. Uh, the second part is Crucible. Now, Crucible I have a lot of fun with. It's one of... I'm a multiplayer gamer, and Crucible was definitely one of my favorite parts of... Um, Destiny. I don't know why I just paused there, but it was one of my favorite parts of Destiny, and I'm just playing with friends, and the Trials of Osiris game when they released was even a one-up from Crucible, and I still play Trials to this day because it's one of the best game modes ever on a console shooter I think it's just so it's so simple but so yet complex because of its tournament style system and when you just win nine in a row or eight in a row or whatever you do with two friends it's just awesome it's awesome doing that and it was all I did one summer and it was one of my, my best summers I ever had playing video games on to more co-op I like Crucible and I like co-op activities for the most part. Raids are cool. Vault of Glass was particularly amazing. Vault of Glass was one of the best raids. Pro their best raid they've done. It was a mysterious raid. It was so cool. I thought the Vex were awesome. It was. Uh, I liked the location underground Venus of their own like little uh, Vex underworld. It was just so awesome. Uh, Crota Zen was kind of cool. Really short though, and uh, I just I didn't like the fact that it was so short compared to Vault of Glass. King's Fall was cool. I haven't played it that much, just because uh, at the end of the Taken King, I was kind of burnt out of Destiny and I didn't really want to play it anymore. But Vault of Glass was definitely my favorite raid. I stopped playing Destiny just because of the fact of they were constantly rebalancing. Well rebalancing guns and making other things much stronger and other things much weaker and they could never find an even even pace or even platform so that's kind of why I stopped along with crucible map design I don't like that much just because it favors uh, fast firing like like you just saw there fast firing Hand cannons, like the last words, shotguns. It just it just favors people who run in and are dumb and just shoot. There's no real long range uh, firefights unless you're playing Trials, which is a more strategy based game, and that's why I love Trials. It's not just dumb dumbasses running around with shotguns and uh, hand cannons for the most part. But it's usually that's why I don't usually play Destiny that much anymore, and it's just Crucible balance, uh, lack of game support, lack of story. I still play Trials, but uh, one game mode, one chunk of one game mode isn't enough to really keep me super satisfied with the game. I'm hoping they improve with Rise of Iron, 
It looks like a cool thing. Um, they're kind of jumping from story to story with these DLCs and never really continuing on or uh, like linking themselves to the last DLC. It just seems like different small, small different story arcs and none of them ever seem the same. So that's my opinion on Destiny. Comment down if you guys still play or not. If you guys still like it or not. If you guys still plan to play Rise of Iron or not. And like and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Legend is being forged in fire, Guardian.